Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Brothers, hey, this is Apostle Rakar. I'm back once again. I promised you, brothers, that I was going to repeat the video. The video that I did earlier when I first uh, realized that I was able to go back on live stream. And in the video that went up there earlier, brothers saw the video. I know, I know a lot of you brothers saw the video. And uh, other brothers, the, the video was up there. It was up on YouTube. It was up on my page. But, you know, my phone and all that was having a little crazy. Like I said, I'm still getting used back to going live again. So a couple of hours later, I ended up deleting the daggone video by accident. I was pissed. But, hey, you know, things happen. And, you know what I mean? Shit happens. But uh, I promised I did a video just about an hour ago, right, just to see if brothers, uh, you know, saw the video, if any brothers shared the video. But uh, this is the same name I called it earlier. The video I did earlier was called GMS Push On. So this is GMS Push On Repeat. So pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat the whole, I'm going I'm I'm to bring out the same scriptures and go into the same point that I went into earlier, okay, what the video was about. And basically, the video was about what's happening now, the prophecies. It was about Esau going down. And it was about uh, how the Lord is going to destroy this place and about how we are at the time now. We are in that time right now, okay? We in the time. We are in the time of the end. The prophecies spoken about in the scriptures are happening and taking place right now. So this is a time where... Yo, bro, this is a time to kick things into high gear and be and be a be of good cheer. Like Yahweh Shah said, be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world. So Yahweh Shah overcame the world, which means we overcame the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. No matter what happens at this point now, man. So basically, I'm going to start off with the first scripture, okay, going into how we know that this is definitely the time where the Lord is going to bring an end to Esau. See, because everything that's going on, they riot in Minneapolis because they killed that one Negro out there when there's going to be a lot more of that. There has been. We're in those times. They got this COVID-19 thing going on, and Esau, was uh, not, he's the one, okay, through the, through the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, of course, that created this COVID-19. The, the Lord gave him the technology to create these viruses and diseases which this COVID-19 thing ain't nothing but a goddamn uh, um, a germ, okay? But anyways, people are dying from this so-called uh, COVID-19 thing, right? This so-called pandemic that we're experiencing, okay? That's nothing but a tool. This is nothing but a tool, man. Like if you got a hammer and a nail and you got a nail and a nail into the wall and you got the hammer, that's a tool you need to get that nail into the wall. So the COVID-19 thing was nothing but a tool that Esau used to get certain other things done to lead up into the uh, to the RFID microchip, that mark of the beast, man. They use this COVID thing to for population control, kill off some of the populace, so that way when they want to implement this new world order and start putting people in concentration camps and put everything on lockdown, that was a way they have less people to deal with. It makes sense. It's called population control, man. Okay? So anyways, man, I'm going to go right into the scripture of what's going to happen, okay? Or what Esau thinks is going to happen, okay? But I'm going to go right into it, all right, brothers? And I'm going to start at the book of Job, Job 20 and 19, okay? Let me read. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken away in a house which he builded not. Who's that talking about? Esau, the so-called white man. He stole the land from us over here, the Native Americans, which are the Israelites, the tribes of Gad, Reuben, Ephraim, Issachar, right? Asher and Naphtali along with that. He stole the whole planet. He stole Europe from the so-called Negroes, which are Israelites. He stole the planet from us and from the other nations. The so-called white man went to everybody's lands and he, he went down in the so-called Africa and he invaded the damn land of the so-called Africans and took over and set up shop down there. Took over lands that didn't belong to him, man. Not only did he take the lands, he took the lands, he took the, he took the, the goods of the people, their, their riches, treasures, okay? He took the people themselves as captives and, 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 put, and indoctrinated them with his false uh, religions and philosophies and ideologies, the Babylon juice. You see what I'm saying? 
So who, who else is this talking about? The so-called white man. And it said he had forsaken the poor. But the poor is primarily really talking about Israel, man, because we're at the bottom of all the nations. You see, we're the poor. He forsook us. Look at the condition that the Israelites are in all over the world, man. Okay. Over here in America, primarily, right? Uh, where, where can the Negro, Latino, and Native American be found? In the ghettos and the slums. And not just so much in the ghettos and the slums, the condition that our people are in. Okay. Okay. You know this, the routine. Last hire, first fired, racial profiling. A Negro just got killed. Okay, the white man give you welfare, section eight. Okay, give you bad food. And in the ghetto, you get bad food, GMO food. Okay, they experiment on you, so-called Negroes and Latinos. Okay, they got you in a low condition. The this, this, this system is not conditioned for the Israelites to get ahead in this society. Okay, you were left in the ghettos and the slums and the reservations just pretty much to wither away and die. You understand what I'm saying? You're over police. You see what I'm saying? So Esau, and that starts with these elites. That was all done by design, man. Okay? We're going to read on. Isaiah uh, 20 and 20. Okay? Surely he shall not feel, but this is what the Most High is going to do to him. He ain't going to get away with it, right? I, uh, I'm sorry, Isaiah, Salakia, brothers. Job 20 and 20. Okay? You know, sometimes your mind, because you think about so many scriptures go through your head. Job 20, back in Job 20 and 20. Surely. He shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not. Uh, he shall not save of that which he desired. And you know the scriptures always talk about the belly because in your stomach, your belly is really a part of where your your, your, your the health of your whole body dwells, man. All sicknesses start in the stomach. Okay, you understand what I mean? So that's like your power, uh, your core. That's your core, man. So that means Esau. Even though they think they're going to implement their plans man, and start this new world order, okay, they think they're going to they're going to chip the whole planet and they're going to implement the new world order and they're going to rule and they're going to do away with the Israelites, they're not going to be able to do that, man. All type of calamities are going to come upon Esau, man. These other nations are going to start rising up against Esau, committing terrorist attacks against them, and they're going to shoot missiles on Esau, okay? So it's not going to be quiet, man. You see what I'm saying? Their plans that they got set up is not going to take place. I'll read it again. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly, man, in your core. In their core, right in their core, there's going to be problems. It's going to be a disturbance, man. <laughs> he shall not save of that which he desired, man, in implementing his new world order and ruling the planet under Satan like they think they're going to do. Okay? It's not the Lord. Is, I mean, he gonna allow them to, he's going to allow them to set it up. But like I said, just as they set it up and they think they're going to they gonna, uh, strap in, so to speak, that's when the Lord is going to destroy them. That's when Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them, man. 21st verse, okay? There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. That's right. I mean, Esau ain't going to have nothing left. They're not going to have no part of the earth to rule. There's going to be nothing for Esau left to feed on, man. Everything that Esau got gonna be taken away from him, okay? In one stroke, you understand? All right, 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, okay? Every, uh, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. That's right, man. Meaning all these other nations are gonna come upon Esau, okay? They're gonna start committing terrorist attacks on him. They're gonna shoot nuclear missiles on him. These elites, in the fullness of their su su uh, sufficiency, meaning once they actually implement the new world order, once they implement the martial law, the Most High is going to allow them to do it. They're going to they're going to succeed. They're going to uh, uh, have a large portion of people chipped. That's why the scripture says there's going to be a lot of death. Not everybody's going to get the chip, but a large portion of the people on the planet, a majority of people on the planet, are going to take the chip. And then they're going to implement, they are going to implement new world order, but just as they're able to, just when they think, oh, we got it, this is it, they're going to be in straits. I'm going to read it again. 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, that's what it means. It means when they totally implement martial law, they boom, we got it. And they're going to make that announcement. We have officially set, set up the new world order. Everybody's under us. He shall be in straits. That's when Yahweh Shai and the angels 
going to come back and destroy him. Every hand of the wicked should come upon him. But even before that, even before Yahweh shine the angels, because Yahweh shine the angels ain't wicked, but the other nations and other Esau, like the scripture said, if Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? So even amongst the Illuminati, these different factions of the Illuminati are fighting against each other. So you may have one faction, they set up the, the, the thing, but then you're gonna, they're going to have all kind of internal problems with the, amongst themselves, attacking each other. But then ultimately, Yahweh Shah and the angels going to come and put lights out. Okay? Uh, uh, that was 22, 23. Job uh, 20 and 23. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. <laughs> That's right. Like I said earlier, it's like if your woman is cooking the food and then when she's done cooking and she brings it and puts your plate in front of you and then you grab the fork and you grab a piece of chicken or whatever, a piece of salad or, or some rice and you're about to put the, put the food right in your mouth, the ceiling collapses on top of your head. <laughs> All of a sudden, the ceiling just caves in on you right before you can get the spoon in your mouth or the fork in your mouth. That's what's going to happen. Like I said, the Most High is going to let him be in the fullness of, of his sufficiency, meaning he's going to allow this devil to get the chip going. He's going to allow him to actually implement martial law and set up the new world order. They're going to say, we're going to boom, we, we got it. They're going to, that's when they're going to come from behind the curtain. Look, we are, look, we, 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 we putting all you people in captivity. We're doing this, concentration camps. But just when they're thinking, okay, we got it now. Now we're about to just start doing away with Israel. We got them. We're going to do we, we, the, the new world orders here. It's implemented. It's, it's, it's in effect. That's when, boom, Yahweh Shai, while he's eating, while he's about to eat, that's when <laughs> Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to come back, and that's when the missiles are going to fly simultaneously, man. Okay? Boom, boom. And the elect is going to be delivered. And then from that, that's the beginning of all. That's the, that's, the, that's the turning of the page. That's going to be the changing of the guard. Because once the elect is beamed up into them ships, as y'all know, that's when the ones of us, Abaratas, I pray I'll be of that number. That's when we're going to get them new bodies. Well, that's a day right there you, that I pray for. Shedding these bodies, man. And we're going to become Superman again. Okay? We're going to become Superman again. Uh, like Superman. What, is it, what was Superman's name? Kyle L. All powerful. Okay? Pretty much Superman was supposed to represent Yahweh Shai and Israel. That's why Esau got that from. They didn't come up with that. They didn't come up with that. They got that from the scriptures, man. All these so-called superheroes and, and, and these uh, characters that they came up with, the mutants, the X-Men, Esau knows about spiritual power. We're going to have that spiritual power, man. You understand what I'm saying? That spiritual power, man. We're going to be like Superman again. So when we come, so imagine 144,000 righteous supermans. That's going to be it. And at that point, that's when we're going to go around collecting Esau and the other nations and putting them in slavery, man. And, and they're and they going to build up our kingdom here on the earth. They ain't going to be floating around in the clouds. It's not even going, well, the spirit world is already in order. But basically, it's going to be right here on the earth, ruling. Okay, in human, superhuman bodies. Okay, we're going to be eating food, drinking wine. You're going to be dealing with your woman. All that, man. Okay, but the only thing is, it, we're gonna be, it's going to be on a higher level, man. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Now, brothers, from earlier, once again, I'm going to jump back into Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay, because this is going into how we know that this is definitely the time that we're living in. These are the times. This is it. We're at the door of the times now, brothers. We are, we are, we are here. We are at the gate. How do we know about where the prophecies? And if you think that this is not the time, then you're not in the right spirit. You're still asleep. Then I mean the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, got you in a dead sleep, man. Okay. So I'm gonna go right into the scriptures. I'm gonna kind of just read through it and just break it down here and there. Okay. Matthew's the 24th chapter. All right. Here we go. Matthew's 24 and one. Why? Because Yahweh Shai. Our, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah said so. Our Lord and Savior, meaning, <coughs> excuse me, 
the savior of Israel and, the, and starting up on top, the elect of Israel, the elect of Israel, okay? Uh, uh, Matthews, Matthews 24 and 1. Yeah, I keep saying Isaiah. There is, the spirit for some reason sending me into Isaiah. Matthews, the 24th chapter. Okay, we're in the New Testament now, which a lot of you idiots, you got other idiots that these other, these Old Testament Israelites, we call them. They don't believe in the New Testament. They don't believe in Yahweh Shai that he, he was the Messiah, that he came. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because they are the same wicked niggas back then that came against Yahweh Shai back then. Okay? <laughs> All right? Matthew 24 and 1. They're them same wicked niggas back in the reincarnation that rejected the Messiah back then. These niggas talking about they're still waiting for the Messiah to come. He didn't already came and left. And he's on his second way back. And when he comes back, he said, I will not meet thee as a man. But back 2,000 years ago when he was on the planet, he prophesied. And, he, and how are you going to tell me Yahweh Shai was not a man of the Lord? Well, he was the son of the Most High. He was the, the, he was the word of the Most High. Is the word of the Most High. Salakia, when he was on the earth and, and now. Because these were words that were spoken and written down 2,000 years ago. And these same exact things are happening now. Okay. So that confirms that Yahweh Shai was who he was, who he said he was, okay? And what the scriptures in the Old Testament spoke of him in the book of Isaiah, man. All right? Matthews, the 24 and 1, right? Matthews 24 and 1. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left there one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, I'm going to just jump in there real quick, okay? That right there goes back at that time, Yahweh Shah prophesied about the siege of Jerusalem. In 70 AD, when Jerusalem was destroyed by the Romans, he was telling them about that. He was talking about that. He said, look, Jerusalem is going to be sieged, man. It's going to be destroyed. All these buildings, the temple, even the temple is going to be thrown down. So he was proper, he was telling them back then about what was going to happen to Drew and, and Jerusalem. Now, if you want to bring that to today, in, the, in, in this new, on this part of the earth, the same thing is going to happen. Because it's the nuclear missiles, we got to talk about the missiles. The nuclear missiles are coming. So every building ain't going to be like in the Terminator movies. Like after Judgment Day, you still got burnt out buildings and burnt out cars laying around half a... Yankee Stadium still going to be standing, but it's the other half going to... No, it's going to be laid flat, everything. Okay? <laughs> all right? But he was telling them. All right? Uh, third verse, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him. Okay? And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, okay? And of the end of the world, meaning the end times, the, the last days, okay? That's what he said. When When is that time coming? When is it coming? The last days. We're living in the last days now. So the 12 disciples wanted to know from Yahweh Shai, well, hey, man, when is, when is it going to be the time when you're going to come back, okay? I'm going to read it again. Matthew 24, 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall be when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Okay, the end of Esau's world, the so-called white man's rulership. All right. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And we've had that happen. We have had that happen many a many a times. I can give you some classic examples. You just had one fucking nigga that just dropped dead, the so-called God sent comforter, comfy, high priest, apostle Tazadakia. He said that he was the God sent comforter, which he was saying that he was the anointed. And he deceived many. He had all the niggas following them. You see? But he's just one of many. Okay? Yeah, he's just one of many. Heli Selassie came, and they had all them simple-minded Benjamites following him, thinking he was the Messiah. He was the, so that Yahweh Shah said, "Many shall come, many shall come, saying that I am the Anointed." So that that was prophecy that had that happen. Okay, 
and he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. That's right. That's happening even now. All the skirmishes, okay, wars and rumors of wars. You didn't have that already. North Korea, China, Iran, over there in the Middle East, okay, and then there's rumors of wars, meaning they, they, uh, they, they, them tensions are rising. Trump is talking shit. Iran, that yo, man, look, man, we mess with up. We're going to send missiles. We're going to attack. We're going to, you understand? He said, be not troubled. We're not supposed to get nervous. We're supposed to get excited. But the end ain't quite yet, but the end is close, okay? And these things are happening right here before our eyes, man. Okay? Seven first. For a nation shall rise against nation. You see that happening now. All these tensions with NATO... United America, the UN, Russia, you see, these nations are rising up against each other. Like, look, man, y'all, 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 y'all putting sanctions on us, or y'all, man, look, man, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna, be, we're gonna have problems. You understand? And once they really get into it with Iran, that's gonna be the really game over. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. Are oh, we in that time now? Now this COVID nineteen. They use that as a tool to create the famine. That's why even now, when you go to the supermarket, they tell you you can only buy so much stuff. It's not like back in the days when you go to the supermarket, especially our people, Israel, you tribes, y'all have to go to the supermarket and rack up. You can't do that now. You go to the supermarket now, now it's like if you buy a pack of chicken, you can only buy, you can't buy four packs of chicken. You can only buy two packs of chicken. They're telling you, you, can't, you can only buy two rolls of toilet paper. You can only buy one bottle of Clorox. You can only buy so much of stuff. Why? Because uh, they use this COVID thing saying a lot of people and a lot of the, the foods got infected with the COVID, so they had to shut down a lot of these major meat packaging companies. Shut down. So there's a food shortage. Okay? There's a food shortage, so that's going to lead into a major famine. In another few months, man, it's going to be worse than that. So the scripture said it's going to be a famine. We've been saying for years it's going to be a famine. They're going to, and the cities are going to be locked down. Everything that we've been saying to y'all for 30 years, now it's coming to pass. So all the people that were scoffing and talking shit, now it is coming to pass, man. A lot of you niggas, these big, fat, overweight black women and Latin, the Israelite women you see, they're going to lose weight real quick. There ain't going to be no food, man. But the Lord said, what? My servant shall eat. So now you, you actually see it. You see the fan building up. You don't believe me? Y'all know. Go to the supermarket. They, they, they're rationing food out. They're rationing everything out. You see? Okay? For, na for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. The pestilence, that's the, that's the coronavirus. That's one of the pestilences, man. Whatever it may be, it's something... <laughs> <clears throat> it's something that's out there <clears throat> that's killing people all right so that's one of the pestilences the, your, your coronavirus amongst other things okay and then an earthquake okay famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places not too long back right here in the east coast we was having a few unmentioned uh earthquakes going on man so there have been things going on and all this, y'all can all clear, can't you brothers clearly see all this is happening right before your eyes? So all the prophecies that Yahweh Shah spoke about is happening right here before our eyes. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. That's right. The sorrows, for if you're not a man of the Lord, for the two-thirds of Israel, Esau, and the other nations, man. Then shall they deliver you up. See, and then, then when you read on, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Now that happened back then too. Because remember when Yahweh Shai was crucified, and then when Yahweh Shai was risen, and then when the 12 disciples had to take the work and take over and, and build the church of Yahweh Shai, eventually what happened? All the disciples were eventually caught and put to death. You see? And it said, you should be hated of all nations. That's right. Israel was going to be hated of all nations, man. Especially the elect, the men of the Lord. Because the elect is hated. The Israelites are hated. Of Esau and all the other nations. That's all prophecy. Okay? And that, it said that. It said, shall be afflicted. Okay? And shall kill you. You've had men of the Lord who have been put to death here in these times. 
We've had men of the Lord that have been martyrs. Some of us may have to be martyrs, not all of us, but there may be certain brothers that may have to be martyrs for this truth, man. Okay? If so, the scripture says, strive for the truth until death. Okay? Because the Lord, man, the Lord, Yahweh Shah said, I have lost none. Okay? No matter what happens. 10 verse, Matthew 24, 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. That happened too. That's happened. Because you had a lot of wicked niggas that was in this truth. They were in the truth. Guys that was amongst us. They were out there teaching. Okay? They, uh, they were doing videos. They were going out to the camp. Then all of a sudden, going back to one west even. Then one day they woke up and they lost their faith. Look, man, I thought brother said the year 2000, this thing was going to happen. See, man, you know, man, I've been lied to. I, lo I lost my woman. I lost my kids because of this thing. The hell with this shit. And they forsook the truth because they got offended. Or because uh, the scoffers were coming against us. Niggas got offended. Mm, yo, man, I, yo, man, yo, man, I don't, I don't want people talking bad about me like that. So they got offended. And, uh, they got offended of your house shot. And shall betray one another. Yeah, guys that were down with us, then what happened? They turned around and became scoffers and started coming against brothers, putting brothers' personal business out there, lying on brothers, okay, all that, okay? See what I'm saying? 11th verse, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. That's right. Like, like hey, guys like General Johanna, guys like Nate, Guys like that nigga Elder Ricard of GLCC, Bubba Live Blackfish, they lying to the guy, the congregation. Nate and Johanna are still telling the con their congregations that the mark of the beast is not the chip. Don't listen to GMS. Them niggas are fair mongering. Don't listen to them. So basically, they're telling their congregation when the chip comes, you can take the chip. You'll be all right. The Most High will still be with you. Those are false prophets. Okay? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's happening now. You see people out in the streets shooting people, robbing people, breaking in people's houses. All kind of people are getting put to death. People are out there walking around with guns. People are acting crazy because that's people are killing their own children. People are killing their wives. Wives are killing their husbands. It's getting, it's getting the haywire out here more than ever. You hear about all kind of crazy shit going on in the news, man. You understand? Because that's that scripture. The, because, of Nick, because this is a wicked satanic kingdom under Satan, under the spiritual demon Satan. So that vibration of Satan is out there. So shall wax cold. People got that cold spirit of death on them, man. That death angel spirit on them. So that's prophecy. And you can see that happening, okay? 13th verse. Okay, Matthew 24, 13, we're reading that. For you brothers that's just joining us. But he that is shouldn't but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That, that's the key point, brothers. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So no matter what, brothers, we got to just endure unto the end. We can't, like the scriptures say, war unto you that have lost patience. What shall you do when, when the Lord will visit you? So the ones of us that just keep doing what we got to do, keep praying to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, just keep going strong, man, no matter what happens. Okay, even if you lose your life, you still going to get what Yahweh Shah say. He that look to find his life shall lose it. He that look to lose his life shall find it. So even if a brother has to die and become a martyr, you're going to be the first to be raised up when the ships come. But then the scripture said there are some of us that shall not see death. But that means remaining faithful until the very end. That's how you're going to be saved. So that's what we got to do. That's it. The Lord going to be with us, man. Okay. 15th verse. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the, the end come. You see, and that's it. And you know what, brothers? That's how you know we are at the end. We ain't got too much longer. That's how you know we ain't got too much longer because the truth is all over the place. We got brothers all over the world, right? We got camps all over the world. So everybody on this planet right now knows about Israel, man. Everybody knows about Israel. Nobody can say on the planet that they don't know about Israel. You go to England, we got brothers in England. Germany, we got brothers in Germany. Holland, we got brothers in Holland. Jamaica, Trinidad, Mexico, even down in South Africa, there's an Israelite, there's, there's a camp down there, man. Canada, all of America's covered. Okay, uh, shit, man. South America, okay. 
So all throughout Europe, South America, man, so this truth is spread in the internet. So the word is everywhere. So they, the truth, that what I just read, it shall be preached all throughout the world. And then shall the end come. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey, brother, we at that time. But this truth is all throughout the inhabited earth. So this is a time for us to be on high morale, man. Okay, this is time of the, so the prophecy came to pass. So everything Yahweh Shah said has come to pass. You dig? <laughs> so we think this is a time. Morale should be high, brothers. Morale should be high. So, hey, man, I say that was it. I made the point. Abba Ratazah, man, Lord willing, maybe later on this evening, I, I'm going to do some more videos. The Lord, if the Lord keep the breath and spirit in my body, Abba Ratazah, Baba Kusha, okay? But like I said, I had to duplicate this video. This is the first, I did the same video earlier, but somehow I ended up deleting the video. But brother saw that video. But for hell with it, man. Do it again. Well, it ain't nothing else to do but do the work of the Lord. <laughs> okay, brothers? So Lord willing, man, I say, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Barak Adam, Barak Kol Akim to you brothers of the elect. Hey, brothers, it's time to kick it into higher gears, and let's keep going, man. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Shalom, brothers.